How's it going? <laughs> Welcome in, Ice and Hobgoblin. How's it going? <laughs> yes, it's a magical Thursday stream. So basically what happened is uh, we, we have a, a couple uh, craft shows coming up um, later this month, uh, in a couple weeks, and I realized, oh shoot, I only have one Northern Lights painting <laughs> to bring, <laughs> and and people love the Northern Lights painting, so it's like one goes, and ah, that's it. So so I was like, yeah, you know what, I'd, uh, I'd better paint a couple more, and if I want them to dry, <laughs> if I want them to be dry in two weeks, I'd, I'd better paint them now, <laughs> so... Because for some reason, these ones take a little longer. I don't know if it's the liquid clear or the mixture of the liquid clear and the white with the mountain. I don't know. I don't know why it is, but it, it just does. It just <laughs> See, we're, we're, we're giving, giving the, the European <laughs> viewers some love. See? Yay. <laughs> I'm glad. But thanks for, thanks for stopping in, Sydney. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pop open my liquid clear so we're doing another northern lights one <laughs> you were friendly exactly exactly there we go spread spread the love spread it wide <laughs> yeah so yesterday we did a um a blue northern lights painting and then pulled her little hair out there we go <laughs> so today we're going to do a purple one so I have a green one that I did uh, a month or two ago. Yeah, no, January 1st is when I did the green one. Yeah. So I have the green one to bring, and now I'll have a blue one and a purple one to bring to the craft shows. So. Yay! <laughs> All right. Let's get some liquid clear in here. As you can see, this one's vertical. The other, um, the other one I did yesterday is... Uh, horizontal so that's the cool thing there's so many ways you can so many ways you can do it you can do it monochromatic with just one color that's what basically what I've been excuse me doing lately maybe just to do a few colors Come say <laughs> the welcome in. <laughs> welcome in. <laughs> we're doing another northern lights painting this one's gonna be purple today feeling it already. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how my arm's going to feel by Saturday. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> it might be dead tired. That's okay. That's okay. I'll have Saturday and Sunday to recover. <laughs> Expert level? Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. Black canvas is kind of a uh, kind of kind of cheesing a little bit because because a lot of times um, you know Bob will tell you oh you have to have your you put your shadows in before you put your lights in like oh well you already got your shadows here <laughs> so, like with um, you, do, 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 this this one I did Monday I think I did that one Monday the the waterfall one so started out as a white canvas and then. I painted all of this black so that I would already have the dark shadows in there and then just painted the colors on top and then this was the only part that was white, the mountain part. So it's kind of a cool way of cheesing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The, the colors seem to come out brighter too on the on the black canvas. That's why I like doing um, seascapes on black canvas. You can get some some wild, wild, strong colors. It's a bit of a quick up here. See, I'm gonna go like this. I can tell what spots I missed if I do that. Oh, thank you. What time is it for you, Sydney? Because <laughs> it's in Florida. It is 6 p.m. Oh, 
I know some people, sometimes I'll have people from like Germany watching me and you know, at my usual time, which is eight here, and it'll be like, you know, one or three a.m. over there. I'm like, oh god. Uh oh, math. <laughs> uh oh. Eleven. Oh. Because twenty-four would be twelve. Twenty-four would be twelve. <laughs> Zero. Oh my gosh. Zero. Oh dear. <laughs> Enjoy. See, there you go. Nice. I'm glad I could. Yeah, stream a little earlier. It works out better for you guys. Sure this is nice and even now. All right. And <laughs> that's a good thing. No, exactly. Because people do that with the Bob Ross streams too. So yeah, I know I definitely take that as a compliment. <laughs> that's a, that's a good thing. A lot of people like to lurk. A lot of people um watch while they're eating dinner or watch with their family. So it's, it's pretty cool. Or watch while they're uh, doing homework <laughs> or work work, working from home. So it's pretty neat. With the, the master, yeah. <laughs> the master. <laughs> It's, 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 it's so funny because whenever I, like, I was watching them as, as a kid or beyond, I always like, wanted, I, I was just like intently watching, like, how is he doing this? Like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. And I was a little kid and I had my little like watercolor paint set from, from Kmart and I'm trying, I'm trying to paint along with them. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got the, all we got is um, just the liquid clear on a black canvas. So now we're gonna put our color on. And yeah, as you can see, I only have three colors here. Well, okay, four colors. So I have, I have black, uh, titanium white, and then I have alizarin crimson and phthalo blue. So the alizarin crimson and phthalo blue, I combined to do the purple. So I'm gonna take that purple and I'm just gonna put it all over the canvas. That way when we take the white in to make the Northern Lights and everything, that purple is going to show. Oh. <laughs> I will say my, my, yeah, my favorite thing to do in like the Bob Ross style are the little evergreen trees. And, and that is where I learned how to do the evergreen trees is from Bob Ross. So I've been, I've been doing them that way for quite a while. <laughs> brush right into that purple there. And I'll start in the middle. And just kind of Ooh, I can already tell putting it on. It's it's purple but it's a little more to the red side, which is which is exactly what I wanted. That should that should show up real cool. <laughs> it is the yeah the mountains that's that's one of the hardest things I found mountains to be really hard and it's funny when I look back at my older paintings because I've, I've been doing this for about two years now and and I look back at my mountains and I'm like gosh <laughs> it's I've, I've I've come a long way for sure <laughs> I like to blame the fact that I lived in Michigan and in Florida, and we don't exactly have mountains. <laughs> so I had had to learn from Bob how to <laughs> what what mountains even look like. So 
the only mountains I ever saw are driving between Florida and Michigan and those types of mountains, but they weren't like snowy mountains like he does. They're just uh, more hilly, hilly mountains. Well, covered in trees. They're I don't know, tree, tree mountains, not snow mountains. If that's a term. It is now. <laughs> we just made it up. I want to make sure I get purple all over this thing. Especially down here because we have our reflections down there. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Can't tell. <laughs> Can't tell on the TV screen, but I can tell when I, I look. I see a little, little hint of reddish purple there. And I'll go ahead and wipe this out. Swipe out any, any excesses. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, see, that's that's the color purple we're going to get. Oh, yeah. That's exciting. That is exciting. Yeah, <laughs> Lizard Crimson. <laughs> Did you see this? This is <laughs> purple? Yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're doing well. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? I'll go ahead and use this this same old brush here, and I'm just gonna go into a little bit of titanium white, and I'm just gonna just gonna start a little bit over here, and we're just gonna. Just gonna bring a little of that white in to bring out some of that, some of that purple. I like that's gonna look cool. Mountain's gonna be mostly on this side. We'll concentrate over on this side and then put big old trees on that side. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I don't want to overdo it because I got Northern Lights to put in there too. So I don't want to overdo that. I'll imagine my water lines like eh, right about there somewhere. Somewhere. Hey, suicidal, how's it going? <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I apologize for that one. Boy, that was. <laughs> oh dear. It doesn't matter what I eat or drink. I just, I, I burp a lot. What can I say? 42. Oh, we can't, we can't burp anymore now. That's it. We can't, can't do anymore. <laughs> oh yeah. It reset, <clears throat> it reset. It did reset, so. When did it reset? I don't know, I, I think we, we changed something and it reset, but it's still a good count. It's still a good count. Nothing to sneeze at. Blending that up a little bit, taking out the brush strokes. Seeing if I want it lighter or not. Probably not. Probably. Probably stop with that. for redeeming beat the devil out of it. Let's, there we go. All right. So we are going to go over to our, oh, there it goes. Oh no, double cam. <laughs> uh oh, double cam needs to be revived. <laughs> Hold please. Oh, um, where is it? 
Devil came on you, Devil can. So yeah. Properties. Just go properties. Try that. And then Deactivate. Activate. Aha! Ta da! It's back. Alright. <laughs> We've got it. Alrighty. Take your two-inch brush, scrub it real good. That paint thinner. Squeeze that out. And then we'll go to our devil pin. Here we go. We're also gonna go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we had the extra throw in the extra xylophone for the trouble there. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming that. Let's see. Oh, is this light enough or not? It's not light enough. We do a little more. But that's a good thing. Start out with a little bit, and you can always, always go back and add more if you want. Not a big deal. Do, 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 There we go. It's still going to leave it a little, a little splotchy. I don't want it too uniform. The space isn't uniform. It's all natural. <laughs> okay, now let's see. That's looking a little better. Okay, I think. I think. Yeah, that'll that'll do it there. Just a teensy bit more over there. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. Let's wipe this brush out one more time. Oh, and the Pokemon game is still warped, unfortunately. So, so no Pokemon right now, but that's okay. some liquid white and shake that up first. So now we're going to put our curtains in. And for that, I'll just, yeah, I could, could use one of these guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll find, find purpose for my poor little, <laughs> poor little messed up fan brush there. I'll, I'll give you purpose yet. And I'm just going to load up basically the very edge of that. All right. And then we're going to make our little curtains, so kind of little like curvy S shapes there. So I'm going to start, start from right over here. I want a lot of white for this. The more paint you have, the the longer the curtains will be. So that's always a good thing. <laughs> that's good. Let's start another line over here. 
Two. A little bit more. And I'm just wiping off the purple that I'm picking up as I'm going along. Do, 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 do. friend there and then just gonna whoop, just gonna turn and go this way squirrel uh -oh. the squirrels are, are jumping on the screen again Over the over the bread we put out there. That one going straight up there. Okay, that's good. See how they're all, they're all, all the curtains are generating from the same general area. Go back in and punch that up a bit. more up there. Okay, that's good. And then mm, one, maybe two more. Definitely one more. Let's start in that same area. idea and then I'm gonna go back and beef it up. <laughs> now I hear the crows. Got the squirrels and the crows out there. <laughs> All fighting for the bread. Moldy bread. <laughs> That's good. And I think that'll do it. Yeah, that looks good there. Or should I go one more? Ooh, decisions, decisions. Hey, MTI, how's it going? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. They were doing an all purple Northern Lights today. Good, good. We did a blue one yesterday. Oh, it's not up there, it's, it's in the back drawing. But we did a blue one yesterday and now we're doing a purple one today. Got a couple, couple craft shows this month, so I'm like, uh, I, I should bring more Northern Lights ones because those ones, people like those ones. <laughs> I think 
I'll do one more tiny little, one more tiny little curtain right over here. Yeah, just a teensy one. That's fine. Okay. Now, for one of the fun parts. Actually go ahead and make our little curtains. I'll just gonna take my two inch brush here. And we'll start from the bottom. We're gonna pull straight up. <laughs> so we're gonna go. I'm gonna wipe off as I go. down a little bit too. If you look at the northern lights, they they kind of go in both directions. The little curtains. So I do both. Right over here. Over here. Pew. Lots of you. I like that super long one right there. <laughs> Such a fun technique. <laughs> the first couple of Northern Lights ones I did, I didn't put a whole lot of white on there. And so the, the streaks weren't nearly as long like this. So but the more the more white you put on, the more the longer those streaks are. <laughs> yes. And it's like kind of it's kind of scary you're putting the color on you're like not quite sure like what color it's really going to end up. So when I when I originally mixed the um mixed the purple over here, I put a little bit of white with the purple just to kind of make sure it was coming out kind of how I wanted. But you're still never never quite sure. <laughs> Which is kind of the fun part. Step back, make sure 
everything is how I kind of want it there. And then, little, little added bonus with stars. Can grab a little more liquid white and add it into my little mixture here. Liquid white, titanium chloride. Oops. <laughs> there and let's use I'll use this fan brush since it's a little a little easier to, to flick so I'll go ahead and take some of that liquid white titanium white mixture I'm just kind of smushing that on <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle stars as you want there. Get a little more up there. Okay. I think that's that's pretty good right there. And that's the other fun part. pretty much going to do it for the sky there. Excuse me. And now we'll go into our mountains. Let's see here. Now do I still want my mountain over here? Yeah, I do. Let's so grab a big old big old chunk. And this is this is just straight straight black. Nothing fancy. Let's start. Yep. That mountain base over here. You know, we cut through half our painting there. Uh, it's always heartbreaking. <laughs> top there a little more irregular. Maybe another peak here. Yeah, 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 like right there. Something like that. Gonna go 
ahead and take a dirty old two inch brush. Oh, can you hear me now? I hope so. Like my, my, my button's moving, but. <laughs> Welcome in, Felonius. You, can, you got it? Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I was probably just talking really softly. <laughs> but yeah, we got another one today. So yeah, yesterday we did blue, and then today we're doing purple. Just gonna bring this mountain down here. Those colors around. Same with this one. Let's drag a dark base color down. <laughs> How's it going, to you, Matt? <laughs> More northern lights. <laughs> Even more. See, today we're doing purple. And it's, it's cool because it's like purple to the reddish side, so that's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Just gonna drag that mountain to the side. Blend that base out there. Looks like it's kind of cool with that light on the bottom there. Kind of already making my misty area. I already made my misty area. <laughs> Grab a little roll of paint there, and then, I don't know, I kind of like having this one in front like that. Kind of like that. So, in that case, let's do, let's do the highlight on this one first. It's barely touching me. I'm going to stop right there. That one's going to, that one's going to cross over. A little split peak right up there. This will this one will be in front of this one though, so let's do a little highlight right over there. And I'll just use I'll use the small part of my knife for this one. Since we won't see much of it. Showing. Actually, you know what? I kind of want. Yeah, I want more over here. There we go. Little more. Yeah, that's good. That's good. stabilizing my shaky hand that's all there <laughs> just gonna line that up there oh no 
<laughs> the stars are so quick. It's just like flick, 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 flick. <laughs> Thanks. That's that's. I think that's the most fun part. Is just the flicking the stars. <laughs> Try to line that up again. There we go. And drag it down all the way. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. I'll hold it so loose that you almost drop it. And sometimes you will. <laughs> Swooping. Fill that area up a little bit more. And yeah. Let's put another. more of this one. And then we'll go into our shadows. Let me shadow. some purple over here too why not there we go have some purple add some purple yeah all right now we'll go ahead and work on our shadow so for that i'm just going to take some of this white and a little more a little more white some of this purple some of this black A little more black because I want it to be a little on the grayish side. I think that's pretty good right there. Well, let's see. Yeah. This peak here is just about the same size as the blade here, so I'm just gonna I'll just use that side of the blade and straight up to that peak and drag just like that and this tiny little piece up here I'm just gonna touch that a little bit because I want this one to be stronger short end of the knife for this one. Boop. There we go. And I'm just going in and just grazing. Just grazing here and there. I'll do the same over on this one. Out she goes. And just grab and pull.
pretty good for that. Let's go back to this peak right up here. Just a little tiny little paint there. Get burp coming on. There it is. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna grab and pull here. Cross over. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. A little more color right up here. Do this peak right over here. And more generous amount of paint on this one because this one's a little, little closer, a little bigger. And same thing, just gonna go straight up to that edge. I'm just gonna pull. Just gonna pull over. Mountain's Majesty, <laughs> for sure. Ah, we'll go all the way to the end on that one. Why not? Can we itchy nose again? Itchy nose is again. Oh, this is this one. Maybe. Yeah, it's good. going here along this little line. stop right there and then let's go to wipe wipe off the knife there and I'll take my brush and just just kind of tap a little bit just kind of blend out the bottom this area is pretty, pretty good because we kind of blended out before we put the, the shadow in. So this area is pretty, pretty good already. So let's do a tiny bit, just a tiny bit there. A little more over here. Go ahead and I'm gonna put in some background trees. So I'm just going to use a real dark color for that. <laughs> I think I'll use the same purple, but uh, maybe maybe make it a little bit. Ah, I think that was, I think that was a host. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Hosts are kind of messed up, so I'm gonna I didn't see an alert for it, so I'm gonna assume it was that. So thanks for the host. <laughs> All right, let's see what color that is. Uh, I think 
that's pretty good. Don't need more of it though. Let's let's try that and see where we are. Oh, do I want my big brush? Yeah, I want my big brush. Actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and put in some reflection for the water. Since those trees will be kind of dark, so the well, we'll have the dark reflected in the water. Let's put the color in the water first before we do that. So I'm just gonna grab some white on my brush here and I'm going to pull straight down for the water. I'm going to kind of concentrate on where the northern light parts are. Straight down. over here. There we go. Kind of like that. There we go. Some parts will be stronger than others here. But nice and varied. We'll take some areas down. That's good right there. Right there. Let's go ahead and wipe my brush out here. Let's see, we got this that we can use as a guideline. That's perfect. And with my brush wiped out, I'm just going to go across just a little bit. Bob would say two hairs and some air. I use about 10 hairs. <laughs> I go a little stronger than him. My, my wave's a little, a little wavier. Yeah. Especially with this one. This one you can really, really tell. Wavy. There. Nice. Maybe a little here too. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's good for that. Yeah. So let's go ahead. I'll load up the big old fan brush here. Do, do, do. That said, I wanted, I wanted a big tree over there. So let's concentrate these trees over here. down trees. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these ones in first and then I'm going to put some black crash down trees in front. Get it nice and contrasty. I'm just using basically the corner of my brush and just kind of tapping downwards. That's why they call them crash down trees there.
like having the black show up through there. It's kind of neat. I'll just go all the way because I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the big old trees yet. So we'll just keep on going. So why not? as well. Scrub, 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 scrub. <laughs> is it the paint thinner is all purple? <laughs> on these little trees here just for just for some reflection and then we'll go back in with the black and the black will stand out okay same old fan brush it's straight black Same thing. These ones are going to be a little bit shorter. Actually, I think I'm going to take some paint thinner. There we go. Mix it in with that black there. Just to thin it out just a little bit here. it up nice and good there. There we go. And of course we're extending these into the water too because we're going to make some reflections out of some of these. Good for that. Some of these a little bit longer for the reflections. Okay, that's pretty good there. I'm just gonna wipe out this brush real quick here. Uh oh, <laughs> turtle. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. And welcome from everybody. <laughs> welcome everybody. <laughs> welcome everybody from Turtle Stream. I'm Lady Galaga. I am I a certified thank you from the Bob Ross instructor. Heart. Thank you for the follow. And we do Bob Ross style paintings here. So welcome on in. <laughs> I want to thank you from the bottom it's of my Mac heart. Man too. Trying to clean up that PV. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> you know. Nice. How did the runs go today? I know. 
<laughs> Runs to get the muffins. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Where get those muffins? <laughs> muffins and cookies. You know what? We have. Because it's March, you know, so at Walmart, they're, they've got all this uh, Lucky Charms flavored stuff. They have Lucky Charms pancakes and what else do they have? A cake, I think, and I don't know if they had muffins, but they, have, they had cookies. I could run that diet late for the rest of our recess. Not too bad, though. Oh, okay, good, good. So these... That's what we bought. <laughs> Yay, diabetes. <laughs> I can't help it, I'm crazy for the, yeah, exactly, I'm crazy for the weird flavors, so. Yeah, Lucky Charms was always one of my favorite cereals. I like, I like the marshmallows, though. <laughs> Yes. So all last month they had, they have a whole, they had a whole section at our Walmart. It was basically, yeah, like cereal inspired things. So yeah, we went crazy on the Fruity Pebbles stuff. There, there was, there was a Fruity Pebbles cake, uh, Fruity Pebbles pancakes. We got those and it came with, uh, frosting. So like Fruity Pebbles frosting. And there was also uh, Fruity Pebbles syrup for the pancakes. Um, I like the pancakes by themselves without any syrup or without any frosting or anything. So the frosting, I just, I made, we made the frosting and then I just dipped like Teddy grams into them, kind of like my own Dungaroos kind of thing. So that worked out pretty well. And then um, the, like the pancake syrup, I, I'll, I'll use that in my coffee and make like Fruity Pebbles coffee. So <laughs> we make it work. We make it work. But there is, if you like, if you like coffee and you like fruity pebbles. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, thanks for the follow. I think it's Bones Coffee, and they have a, a fruity pebbles flavor. It's not fruity pebbles, but you know, it's called. Uh, I think it's called Electric Unicorn, but it's it's fruity pebbles flavor. <laughs> it's just yeah. They just can't use the name. That's okay. <laughs> like we know what it is. <laughs> It's like the Halloween costumes. <laughs> Middle of the week, babe. <laughs> Not Wednesday Adams. I'm just gonna pull these reflections down real quick. There. I got some reflections. <laughs> Fridays this week. <laughs> it's Friday Eve. <laughs> it's, it's Thursday Northern Lights. Let's sweep this one across too to make it nice and watery. And then... probably throw some of these away. They're just hanging out here. <laughs> They're just collecting all my paper towels. <laughs> Welcome in, not too tired. I hope you're doing well. There we go. <laughs> for these ones, uh, since they're so far away, I'm going to go ahead and just put in a little water line for those. Then I'm just gonna grab just a little bit of liquid white there. Let's put that on the edge of my knife, just on the very edge. Or you can do that, you can load it that way. Just tap it, tap it in, tap it in or shove it in from the side. <laughs> Either way. Either way. And then I'm just gonna 
go in and just just cut right in. We'll just continue to the edge there. We got a hair in there. I want that. All right. And we'll just continue. There we go. Yeah, let's go. I might mix it with platforms and things, but we'll decide in a minute on that. Yeah, let's go away. Okay. Bite off my knife there. And let's see. Let's see where we are. Let's clean up that edge a little bit there. <laughs> an icy, icy. make a little a couple little projections yeah said I know I want a big old tree over on this side I'm not sure about this one yet let's do let's do well, first of all I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this together. Here. That'll just be my dark base color. That should be good. Make a little projection first. Make my my land. So let's do a little projection like out here. It's got to be pretty big to hold a big old tree, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just wipe off my excess there. And I'll just grab a little of this here and bring it straight down for reflections. and watery. Ew. There we go. Yeah, a little bit more in there. And then we'll put our big old tree in. So I'll grab the big old fan brush again. And go straight into that color. Good. All right. 
now. Oh, where do we want to start here? We'll do... Kind of going into the northern lights here, just a little. There we go. And I'll just use a corner of my brush to get the edges there. We'll cut through some of this mountain. Smush through. Smush, smush. Do I? Ooh, I don't know. Now nah, maybe I'll make them, I'll make them smaller. <laughs> Can't decide. There. It's cutting right through that mountain. There we go. Let's start the branches there. Do, 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 do. two big old trees over there and then I will I'll just wipe out the excess that's in there <laughs> and I'll give these a little trunk just a little bit of a trunk purpley white mixture there. And then I'm just gonna just gonna touch touch yeah, touch 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 I think I kinda ran out of paint on that one. That's good. Yeah, I just want to see a little bit of the trunk popping through there. Wipe off my knife. And then, let's go ahead and highlight those trees. I already got some liquid white over here, so let me dip a little bit over here. and see what we got there. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I 
It'll just get a little darker towards the bottom here, which is good. That's what we want. back and forth on the tree branches here. Just tapping in real lightly there. That's good. I think that's that's the right lightness right there. I'm just gonna wipe out this fan brush real quick. I'm gonna go back in and tap in a little more on this tree. I just want to make some of these branch is a little bit softer, especially on the ends. I like to make the like the side of the canvas a little, a little softer. Gonna touch up here a little bit. Some highlight. There. Okay. Pretty good there. back to my one inch brush there. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't give these guys reflections. Let's go back in and do that real quick. Just holding my brush up, tilted that way, that way. The branches will also curve that way. Okay, that's good for that one. And let's do this one. This one go all the way. Out. And we'll go back in with a two inch brush again. Pull down for reflections just like before. So just very softly just pull down and across. Very softly. taking certain branches and kind of extending them there. Neato. Mm, don't want to put some of that lightness down there too. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit.
gently and across just a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Neat. Quarter's getting kind of dark. There. That's better. Now let's put a little little highlight on our little projection there. Maybe a little titanium white. And we'll just put like a light lavender highlight on these. to the other side and just highlight a couple areas a little bit brighter. There. That's good right in there. And then again I'll just tap just a little bit underneath. And that'll be for the reflection. Just a teensy bit. Yeah, that's good. Cleaning out my brush there. And that way I can just pull straight down for my reflections. Wipe again. And it's very okay, two hairs and some air for the for the highlights. So you go over that. Too strongly, they'll just go away. <laughs> they'll just go away. All right, so that's good there. And then let's get a little more with the white. And then this is going to be for the little water line right here. There we go. Just want it just on the edge of my knife there. I want to get these lines parallel. said act like you're cutting into the canvas. No, it doesn't make sense when I say it, but when you're actually doing it, it's like, oh yeah. When you're doing this cutting motion, it's literally squeezing out the liquid white from the knife, and it makes a really cool effect. Especially when you when you do this on seascapes. And you can do this for the little little crashy waves. On the sand, and it looks really cool. Okay, I think that looks good there, just nice and nice and subtle. I kind of just want to blend out this part. This part too. I'm just gonna tap it a little bit more, kind of blend it out just a little bit, fade into the background. Okay, almost done. I'm just gonna put one more little spot in the front here. 
So for that, I will see. Big brush or little brush? Doesn't really matter. I think I'll I'll go with the big brush. I might need a little more paint though. So let's squeeze out a little more of this midnight black. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Probably too much, but that's okay. That's all right. If you got too much, just throw it in a Ziploc bag for later. Throw it in a Ziploc bag, throw it in the freezer. Make sure that's all mixed up real good there because I know I had some of that leftover purple there. There we go. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> two-inch brush. Just gonna, just gonna dab. Just gonna dab. I like to dab to load up the brush because then you get that nice, nice spongy, spongy texture for the shrubbery. So then, I got this here. I'm just gonna put a little, little foreground bit here. So I'm gonna start here. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and bend the bristles. So we're gonna go like that. Kind of hard to see now because it's because it's the black, but I'm gonna do the exact same motion with the one inch brush, and then you'll see the highlights. But it's cool because when you do this, a couple of the bristles kind of go overextend, and it really looks like like bushy bristles. Here. That can see a little bit better. There we go. I'm just going to tap that there. Well, like Bob said, you got to have your Gotta have your dark to show your light. So that is good there. All right. So now I'll go ahead and, well, actually, before I highlight, I'm just gonna scrape in here a little bit just to put some little sticks and twigs in there. brush over here and I gotta decide what color I want these highlights because <laughs> I think I want I think I want that one to be pretty pretty white or do I want that one to be white and that one purple uh, maybe I'll do this one white so I'm gonna grab I'm just gonna dip my brush directly into some liquid white there to make it nice and thin there And then we're gonna do this motion. Mix the liquid white with the titanium white. We're gonna we're gonna drag, pull up, drag, pull up, drag, pull up, drag, pull up. And it gives us a nice little spongy texture. And I'm gonna flip my brush so the rounded side is towards the top. And we're gonna do that same motion where you're gonna kind of bend the bristles like that. See now you can now you can see that motion I'm talking about more. want to 
touch and bend the bristles. Don't want it to slide. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to make that one a little more purpley. I'm just going to wipe off the brush real quick. Off that excess paint. I'm going to use that purple right there. Same thing, I'm going to dip my brush in a little bit of liquid white just to make this thinner. Because you got to make this layer thinner in order to stick to that layer we put on. Same motion, I'm going to drag, pull up, drag, pull up, drag, pull up, drag, pull up, drag, pull up. And then, same thing, we're going to just push there. want. <laughs> I think I want to throw in a birch tree, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not, right? It's going to wipe off my brush there. tree to live on. Trying to get bigger. I think that's I think that'll be pretty good right there. Or maybe yeah maybe a little thicker. Maybe a little thicker. Let's go with Kim. to sit. All right. So, birch tree, I'm going to go ahead and I'll go back to the fan brush here. I'm just going to wipe out whatever excess color I have on here. And I'm going to go straight into this dark color. It's gonna load it up real good with paint here. Lots of paint, lots of paint. Now I gotta decide oh, where I want him to live. I think I want him to live right about right about here. So let's yeah. Let's go right. One more time here, make it a little, a little thicker. Bloop. Yeah. That's good. Oh, does he want a friend? Oh. I don't know. He might want a friend. He might want a friend. No decisions, decisions. Cause that's what birch trees do. Birch trees like they like they split. It's weird. I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. But it's cool. So let's let's make this one split like that. Wobbly. Straighten it out. Uh oh. You're a dream. Hey, Aaron, how's it going?
How's it going? <laughs> Welcome everybody from Aaron's stream. I'm Lady Galga and I am a certified Bob Ross instructor and we do Bob Ross style paintings here. <laughs> you were doing Uncharted Waters? What? Oh my goodness. Which, uh, which category? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're doing... We did, we did a blue Northern Lights yesterday, and now we're doing purple Northern Lights today. So we're, we're getting there. We're just adding some little little birch trees at the end there. <laughs> How do the runs go? Oh, God. Man. I would do, um, there's, there's that one category I forget what it is, it's like Santo Domingo percent or something like that. That I would do. That I would do. <laughs> yeah. No extra ones yet. Oh, gosh. That's a that's that's a one and done. <laughs> Man. That is dedication right there. <laughs> King's Bounty World Record. Wow, look, GG's. <laughs> Dang, that's awesome. <laughs> A lot of people getting PBs lately. That's good, that's good. Oh, where he is, there you are. Oh, lost a brush for the first set. Lost a brush. <laughs> Stick some arms on him. So I'm gonna grab some paint thinner, put in that same dark color there. Boop. Slight consistency of ink here. And I'm just gonna twist it around. Come to a point. <laughs> to see now we'll put some we'll put some highlights on them <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> yes, we're, we're doing even more Northern Lights. <laughs> and then tomorrow I'll... Well, I'll, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing tomorrow? <laughs> Lakeside something or other tomorrow. Something or other. We'll just call it that. Lakeside something or other. Almost done. We're just putting another, just putting a little little birch tree in. Because I like birch trees. <laughs> birch trees, ginkgo trees, those are my favorites. I'm gonna make this a little thinner. A little thinner with some thinner. All right, nice ink consistency there. We can go over this one a little bit more. There we go. one 
a little a little darker on the the light there. That'll show up more. I'm kind of looking over to see what you all see on the TV. <laughs> I see the TV, computer, whatever, whatever you're looking at. On the on the TV monitor. TV land. There we go. All right. Let's let's put some big old highlights on here. And for that, I'm just gonna take. knife here. Just gonna wipe it down, make sure there's nothing nothing else on there. Ooh, ooh, should I go straight white or white with a little purple in it? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, let's try white with a little purple in it. Why not? There. Let me squeeze over into the corner. Ooh. Oh, look at it. I'm just gonna grab and pull. of the tree and just touching and pulling over. Pull these ones over a little bit more. I'm kind of doing a downward swoop as I'm doing that. Wedge myself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm a hockey. Oh no. Oh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you got hockey too. That's right. There's hockey on. Yeah. I I just wanted to get a couple couple northern lights so I could bring them to the to the craft shows. So and I know that they take a they take a little while to dry. So I was like, I better do them now if I want them to dry in a couple weeks. So, for some reason, these ones take a little longer to dry. <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been flying through this one. <laughs> Actually, well, no, we're right on time. Two hours, yeah. So, <laughs> we're all right. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it was a surprise. It was a little surprise stream. Pokemon still aren't working, unfortunately. So, so there is that. Just gonna, just gonna tap a little bit from the other side. Just 
just so it kind of stands out. Doo, doo, doo. It's a little earlier than usual, too. Usually I go on at 8, but... <laughs> but it's cool going on at 6. Um, some more more people that, um, that are from the UK and, and Europe can watch and everything, so that's, that's always good. Exactly for the show. <laughs> oh, that Pikachu. <laughs> oh... Oh, <laughs> poor Skyfire. That's like that's my that's my favorite. Like, oh man, their relationship is just like <laughs> that's heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> they were such good friends. <laughs> All for science. I'm thinking, I wonder if they had the Northern Lights in that in that episode. I don't have to go back and watch it now. <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> I know, right? It's like it feels like maybe they did. I don't know. But it, it's funny going back and it's all these um you know old shows and, and things and and I never noticed the Northern Lights before, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, hey, look at that, look at that. Or looking at like kids' books, and I'm like, oh, hey, there's Northern Lights in here. Especially like uh, like uh, Christmas books and stuff like that, because they're like North Pole. I'm like, oh, yeah. So it's something I never really thought of before. Bob Ross, you know. Something I didn't think of. I'm gonna highlight these little branches a little bit. Oh, and then we'll now uh, we'll put some snow down here. Let's put some, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna graze a little a little snow back here. Still there. <laughs> I don't want the hair in the painting. Yeah, no. No hair is in there. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like in um Super Dodgeball. You know, there's there's one there's one area because you're you're playing teams from around the world in that game, and sure enough, you go to Iceland, and you look and there's like giant penguins and and yeah like snowy mountains and I'm like oh hey Northern Lights, <laughs> like, all right. Wow, so one of the things Bob said is like if nothing else learning how to paint or watching someone paint it, it teaches you how to lurk, uh, how to lurk, <laughs> how to look at the, look in the world in, in a different way. That's true. Start seeing things and realizing things and you're like, oh, I never noticed that before. And this snow, I'm just, the way I'm applying it is just, just grazing it on, just like I did with the snow on the mountain. Same concept. Same thing. Oof. See, it's already got the, the dark color back there, so it's using that dark color that's already there for, for shadows. 
Hmm, this is just a highlight. branches and then that will be about it. Brush split there. I don't want that. Turn my brush the other way. Oh yeah, that's looking, that's looking neat. And for these highlights, I'm just using just the straight liquid white. Excuse me. Oof. <laughs> so it's got to be like eight. Yep. Eight o'clock. I don't think I still watch most of the hockey game. <laughs> Miss this one. Okay. Let's see here. Let me make this a little, little thicker here. Oh, <laughs> how's it going, Kumika? I <laughs> hope you're doing well. <laughs> we are almost done. Just and some last highlights there. A little back and forth. Some lights. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> big, <laughs> big chill. <laughs> you know what? I think I want to put a couple little. Pew, just a couple little pew, little thingies back. Just a couple little things growing. Not my brush is splitting, but it's actually good for those things. <laughs> oh, maybe a couple dark ones over here. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. 
there's anything else that I want to throw in. I just want to make this area a little darker. Let's separate that little bush from that tree there. little springy things. Okay, now, oh, now I'll see if there's anything else I want to add. Uh, I think, I think, I think, I think. I know, right? <laughs> I think, I think I'm, well, last I looked, I'm in spot 11, so <laughs> if that changed, lucky's, uh, lucky, 11's my lucky number, so I'm okay with being number 11, but if that changes, then I'll have to, I'll have to get a new time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's been exciting. <laughs> We've, we've noticed that the, the, some of the people that are starting to run it are some of the same people that are playing Super Dodgeball. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah. 12, okay, yeah, see. But it's inspiring, and then, and then you see what everybody else is doing, and then you're like, oh, wait, I didn't know you could do that. And so we're all learning from each other. It's, it's great. Arcade stick, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. So I am 12th now. All right. All right. I got to Okay. I got to go back and get a better time then. That's it. That's it. it. I <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's right ahead of me? Uh oh. Yeah. We both need to get back into it then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we were watching. We were watching uh, Beard Strength, so that that yeah, <laughs> that inspired us a little bit. And then, and then, Steve Zero took it back today. Did he really? Four oh seven. Four oh seven? I don't even. I don't know. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to watch that. We have to watch that. Take notes. <laughs> If it works, he's 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 amazing. He is amazing. That is so cool. It's I'm so glad to see it blow up, and it just took like like a week. <laughs> it's it's amazing. All right. Let's see. Well, I think. I am going to call that rascal finished. So, <laughs> hey, how's it going, Jim? Yeah, I I, I did a couple like couple sneaky um, couple sneaky ones yesterday and today. I did um, I did Northern Lights because I'm doing a craft a couple craft shows this month. So I I wanted to bring a couple couple more Northern Lights for those. So I was like, shoot, I have to do it now if they're if I want them to be dry by then. <laughs> so. I kind of kind of snuck these in the last couple of days, so it works. <laughs> and thanks to the GGs, Ice and Pulse Boys and Stewart's Idol. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And I think, I think, I think we are going to <laughs> thanks Albert Helen and Lucky Um. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I don't have my phone. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs>
thanks to the genius you do. Is that is that is that the, is that wrong with Pharaoh? Yeah, that's awesome. He's a cool dude. <laughs> oh, Bark Madly. <laughs> That's, oh, uh, both Earthbound and Symphony of the Night are, are definitely in my top 10. <laughs> definitely in my top 10. God, that, that would be hard to choose between the two of them. Man. I just like, uh, Symphony of the Night, you, you have like all your like little familiars that help you. I, I love that. And then like all the, all the cool little, um, Things that you get along, like dark metamorphosis, you know, like I, I love that when um, like enemies die and then they they bleed on you and you actually get your life back from that, and, which is kind of like a play on like you know like a like an old RPG thing. I don't know some I guess it's some armors that allow you like whenever you're walking you're getting your life back. So it's kind of like a play on that, and I, I, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I have a couple Earthbound shirts. I, every once in a while, I wear one. So, <laughs> but you came came in just in time for the end. <laughs> I couldn't put a fancy term on it, like the end. <laughs> but, th but thanks for stopping on. <laughs> and, and of course, I like all of the. Symphony of the Night, like Castlevania ones, so it's, yeah, I like all those. There's one I haven't played, and I need to play. I, forget, I always forget what that name of that one is, but I think it was like the, the last one I did. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's inspired a lot of people, a lot of people. And it's, it's, it's nice to be able to carry that on for him, so. Like he couldn't be here, but but we can we can carry it on for him. So with that, we gotta find a friend to raid. So let's see who's on. So Arcus is Arcus is going. JSR is doing Zelda one randomizer practice. Do 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 do. Hungry Gria is on. I'm rocking back and forth. <laughs> see. Oh, Ron the Pharaoh's on. Nice. Beard Strength's doing Ninja Gaiden. Thunderfist is doing some Castlevania games. Empty Eye is on. Shiny in the Darkness. A few people on. <laughs> All the decisions, decisions. This is always the hardest part. <laughs> yes, our people. I don't know, Paul's voice, what you think? I don't know. We raided Beard Strength yesterday. We did. Um, did we ever raid Clipper? Clipper? I don't think so. Mario 64? Yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> I don't think I have her on here. I know I follow her. Unless unless Twitch made me unfollow, which which they do. Which they do. It's over here. Is it? Oh there she is. Oh okay, I see it now. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Raid someone we haven't raided before. It's all good. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool deal. Well, thank you everybody for 
hanging out and, and stopping by and I will be on um, tomorrow's my normal time I usually just do uh, Monday and Friday at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so I will be on tomorrow at 8 and we'll do we'll do something a little different uh, the lakeside a little lakeside one so yes <laughs> thanks for stopping in and have a good night everybody and I'll maybe I'll see you tomorrow if not I'll, I'll see you around the around the twitches <laughs> Alrighty, see you later. Bye-bye.